Welcome back everybody. Johnny, Daniel, we are reviewing The Conjuring 2. Let's do it. All right guys, The Conjuring 2, directed by James Wan, just like the original. Uh, most of the team is back. You have the Warrens, which are the real life couple. Um, Patrick Wilson is Ed Warren and Lorraine Warren is played by... Uh, is it Vera Formica? Yes, okay. thank you. Um, and they basically are dealing with a new, um, pretty much house situation, uh, like the first one. And this time it's in England. And then you have the, pretty much what they call the England Amityville overseas. <clears throat> yep, there's a young girl and there's some type of uh, possession going on there. And uh, it... it it, it kind of gets off kind of slow, but the, the moments that they really hit in this movie Man. <laughs> are really freaking good. Yeah, it's it start it's a slow burn, no yeah. doubt. Now I'm going to say I love the first one. Probably my favorite horror movie of all time. Um, I love all James Wan's um, horror films. I really like Insidious 1 and 2. Yeah. And uh, I had high expectations for this movie, and uh, they were met. I'll say that, at least. <laughs> yeah, the story's laid on pretty early on, and there's callbacks all the way to like the last few scenes. Mm -hmm. um, it's built really well. I thought Patrick Wilson always gives it his all in his performances. Yeah, he's great. He's, he's good. Uh, his wife is, is excellent. <clears throat> really good. The girl is really good. The the yeah the the kids in general are good. The the kids were great in the first one. Yeah. They're all pretty convincing, and especially the main girl who's possessed. She is great, um, especially for a young actress. Uh, she did really well. I thought they used the English setting well. They did really well. Yeah, I know they filmed on location in London too, which added some authenticity to it. Yeah. And um, all the period clothing and vehicles were, were really awesome to see. Yeah. From a technical standpoint, Juan never fails when it comes to cinematography. It's beautifully shot, and just the way the whole film is pieced together is, is top notch. Yeah, the only thing that I really is a negative for me is how slow it was in the first half. That was just the biggest drag. Everything was, it was good, it wasn't bad, but mm -hmm. when you have a movie like this, you can see that they're laying the groundwork and it's just like, okay, yeah. I know that's what they're doing. And it yeah. felt like it just took a little bit too long. And there was a couple conversations that went on a, seat, you know, a few moments too long. Uh, but that's really the only knock. There wasn't any really, I would say, bad performances. No, definitely not. Um, I, I can see where you're coming from, but by the time it, the film ended, I was like, I wouldn't have wanted it to be any yeah. shorter. They needed the time. If they had cut it down, I think it could have, you know, pretty much risked the overall quality because the story, the way it was built up and how it concluded, what I appreciated it. Uh, the main thing I have to say about this movie, they don't use any jump cuts to scare you, mm -hmm. really, which I hate when movies do that because if you're relying on that to scare the audience, yeah. it's kind of like a pussy way out. Also, what I really enjoy about this movie is there's heart to it. Yeah. There's, there's actual emotion you feel for the characters, especially the Lorraine. Um, Lorraine Warren and Ed Warren, and I really, you know, I was attached to them, and it, they, if without that, most horror movies don't have that, yeah. and they just feel like nothing, so this obviously separates that from the others and gives it a better, you know, quality to me. The nun demon was really, really cool. Yeah, um, the villain, yeah. yeah. It looked, like, scary as hell. Um, my score, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. I think it was a solid movie. What about you? I give it 4.5 out of 5. Great. One of my favorite movies of the year so far, and definitely check it out. Yeah, if you were... A fan of James Wan or Patrick Wilson or Vera Farmiga or a horror film at all. Yeah, know. this is a great horror film. Go check it out. Definitely go, go check it. it out. Give it your money. Um, no doubt. I mean, there's really nothing else this weekend. Yeah. So <laughs> go check it out, guys. Thanks for watching.